Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the structure tutorial series. From last couple of videos, we started creating our book auto demo web app, which is using the struts2 tags. We have still not finished with that. Today we will see the rest of the app. In the last video, we saw on this link, click here to book an auto. So if you click here, then the user is presented with a form where he can provide his ride details, like the pickup area, pickup date, pick up time and the packages which he wants. We saw how to fill up uh, these fields with the default values that will give the user some clue of what to fill up in those fields. Let's move further from here. Now, after the user fills up these details here in this form, we will provide the user with a list of autos available which he can choose and that page will consist of radio buttons and once the user chooses one of those autos then the user will be presented with the details of whatever he entered and whatever type of auto he chose in the final page and that will be the end of our demo app now when the user submits this page book auto page then find my auto action is triggered which is there in booking namespace so Let's first create this action in struts.xml in the namespace slash booking. Let's create one action here. The action class is find my auto. Let's give it an action method as find auto. Okay, now let's create this action class in the actions package. that from the action support class okay now one more thing to note here is that we will need to store the fields values which will be entered by the user in this page in our action class so that it can be used later now for each of these input fields just create one member variable in our action class which will be populated with the fields data by the params interceptor these names should match with the action class so that params interceptor will be able to populate it Okay, now in this action class we will also prepare a list of string which will correspond to the types of autos presented in the next page. So in this action class we are trying to populate the list which will be used to populate the radio buttons or the list of autos available and the struts2 radio tag will use that list of string to render the radio buttons. For radio buttons, it is not mandatory to have options. In that case, its value only goes to the backend instead of any option value, which happens for the select tag. And 
using the stuff to radio tag we will render those auto types from the action class property and it will be a list of string let's create a list of string auto list so initialize it with an array list Now generate the getters and setters for these. Okay, now let's create the action method here. Now inside this find auto method, let's populate this auto list which will be used by this trust to radio tag. We'll give some hypothetical auto types. So just bear with me. then return success that's it okay so now our action class is ready once the action class completes its execution we will go to the find order or JSP for the success result type so let's create a result element for our find my auto action Now in this find auto or JSP, I will put some code to access the user's data which was entered in the previous page and present the user with a list of autos available. Yeah, I've already created a find auto or JSP and I have written the code for this. Now here we are accessing the action class properties using the property tag. Now it searches these properties in the value stack and gets these values from our action object since action object is at the top of the stack. Now we also created a struts to form inside that we have a struts to a radio tag and then a submit button. Here in the struts to radio tag we have used the list attribute to point to the class property from where this radio button values will be populated and this form submits to the confirm my auto action. Okay, now let's test this out. Test this find auto action. For this, let's build a project. Okay, so I just uh, gave an area name in Bangalore, and then we can just leave the other fields as default values and just click on this find my auto okay so it took us to the next page and here we got the details from whatever the user had entered in the last page and we got the radio buttons for the list of autos available now let's code for the next page now once the user selects these radio buttons one of the autos available and then submits this page then we are going to confirm my auto action. So let's create the confirm my auto action in our stus.xml under the same package.
let's give it an action method inform auto okay now let's create this action class Extended from the action support. Now in the find my auto.jsp we showed the details of the user and one thing to note is that these details are not part of the form slash to form tag they are outside the form tag. So when the user submitted this page these data they won't be populated in the confirm my auto action class they won't be populated in the in in, in its member variables because they are outside the uh, form tag o only the form elements only the form elements are actually populated in the action class member variables so to resolve this kind of problems hidden tag is used through which we can send some data from our form to the action class and these fields won't be visible in the form as well so it serves our purpose now Struts has provided this hidden tag to create the input hidden elements. Okay, so I've already put the code for the hidden elements here. For all these fields, I've created hidden elements. Okay, and along with this radio tag, these elements will also go with the form, and these elements will be uh, populated in the confirm my auto action. So we'll have will have the member variables corresponding to these uh, these input hidden elements and the radio tag so that the params interceptor will be able to populate these values in our confirm my auto uh, action class and uh, will be able to uh, store these values in our action class one more problem is there in this hidden tag is that the value attribute of the hidden tag requires a string so we can't give the property name to it directly as its values and it in that case it won't search these 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 values in the in the value stack so we have to use these percentage and the brace to access the field from the value stack using the OGNL expression so this will become an OGNL expression and then it will be searched in the value stack if, if any attribute requires a string and we want an expression to be executed there we need to put put it inside the percentage and the brace now in the confirm my auto action class we just have to accept these hidden elements and the the auto type which which is selected by the user so let's create the member variables to accept them be similar to what we had here let's copy and paste it Can generate get us and set us for these. Let's create an action method. And from this action method we will just return success. We're not going to do anything in this action method. Now let's create a result for success in the confirm my auto action. And this will take us to the confirm auto.jsp. I've already created this confirm auto.jsp just let's have a look at this 
Now here we have put the code to access all the data entered by the user and we are showing them and it, it is just using the property tags to access those data from the confirm my auto action class. Let's test this out. So we are able to get the data entered by the user and this concludes our demo web app. We will add some more features to it as we move along and cover some more topics. This is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.